Okay. So next, what we're going to do is publish this report to the Pentaho Solution Repository. And we do that by selecting File, Publish. In this case, I'm not going to save the uh, report definition to my local hard drive. I'm just going to say no. And then we're brought up with a dialog where you put in the host name and port number of the Pentaho BI server. If you remember, in the beginning of the tutorial, we started the BI server component. If you are using the installer version of the Pentaho BI platform, the one that comes with the BI platform, all the design tools, etc., that will have a default port of 18080. If you are using the compressed TARGZ or archive version, that will default to port 8080. So it is important to know what server port the Pentaho BI platform is running on uh, and change this accordingly. And default credentials, um, you could use the admin ID and the password that you set up during the installation, or if you remember true to Pentaho's uh, roots, user Joe and password password. That is the admin user that we use by default. Clicking OK will then bring up a Pentaho solution dialog where I could then publish this report. And with the default installation, we have one uh, Pentaho solution directory, Steel Wheels. I'm just going to navigate to Steel Wheels, report to 3.5, and then provide a report name. And we'll call this my first RDW report. And we'll provide the published password, which I set mine during installation of the BI suite, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, and click OK. Keep in mind, the published password is set during the installation. If you are using the .zip or targz or archived distribution, the published password is not set by default, and you need to either manually set that in a configuration file or use the Enterprise Admin Console to set it for you. We'll get a message that the report was published successfully, and we can launch it now. And this will launch my default browser, where I could then put in the proper credentials. And we'll launch the report parameter and web viewer. You'll notice that we have HTML pagination, and we can navigate to certain pages if we wish. OK. Also, launching this from the report designer, it does show you that any of the report content or the report viewer can be called outside of the Pentile user console. So what I'm going to show you next is actually launching this report inside the Pentaho user console. And I'm going to do that by selecting Start, Programs, Pentaho Enterprise Edition, User Console Login. And here we have the default Pentaho user console view. To the left, we have the Pentaho solution repository where I then can navigate, and you will see my first RDW report, and it will be launched as such. And if I chose a different output format, in this case PDF, there's our PDF report. 